all right for the time being i was done cutting videos but uh i had to do this man i have missed got some bad information on this or i misread it um last night man but i'm just gonna play the audio and um let you guys hear players you ever played with um top five players you ever played with um Kyrie, mm. James, Coop, James, James, mm -hmm. Pardon? Steph, Steph, Clay, Clay, mm. Mm. yeah, I'm gonna go, <clears throat> I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go Sergi Barker. <clears throat> damn, damn. I thought somebody else was going to win too. I'm just LA. Just, so I'm just, just so I forgot somebody. Yeah, you. To me, I thought you was going to sit. I ain't even going. Yeah. Top five players you ever played with. All right, so y'all heard it. It was uh, KD was asked by Gilly. Shout out to Gilly the Kid and Wallow. Love them dudes. KD was asked by Gilly and Wallow, the five best players he played with. Not KD is played on the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's played with the Golden State Warriors. He played with the Brooklyn Nets. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. Um, so you go. He so Kyrie. Uh, we say Kyrie, James Harden. Obviously, he gonna play. He gonna say the two guys he played with for morale. So it's hard to ask you this question before their career is over with. He said Kyrie, James Harden, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and he said Serge Ibaka. Now, a couple guys left off this list. Russell Westbrook was the one. Wallow was preparing. Was uh, referring to, but let's talk about it. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. But you really can't knock somebody for their opinion. You know, people get mad at me because I got a hard opinion. I keep a real straight shooter, but I can't be mad at me for having an opinion. You know, especially when you have an opinion about your personal life and your career. You know, James Hart, I mean, uh, Marvin Hagler, rest in power to him. They asked him, um, who was the hardest person to hit you? He said, my mother. Can't say, hey, his mother wasn't the hardest person to hit him. This is opinion, man, but, um, Man, I mean, that's tough. And I thought they kind of passed that relationship up. But, you know, teammate is just more than a gifted player. A player that, you know, in a locker room y'all get along with. On basketball level, y'all y'all ride with. But was anybody else he forgot? You got Draymond. Um, did he play with Steven? I think Steven Adams. Had a couple players, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that 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 can be interpreted in a, lot of, in a lot of different ways. The best teammates you play with. Is it as far as... Uh, is it as far as like camaraderie and somebody I really kicked it with, or is it about how we flowed on the basketball court, or is it just like talent wise, this was the best player I played with? Because it's a you know, if it's talent wise, then Russ got to be on there. If it's far as camaraderie, people forget. Um, Russell Westbrook is is a, is a really good player, but as far as a teammate, as far as on the talent, he he a stat chaser. He's a stat chaser. I don't have no issue with him. I just won't want him on my team. He's a snatch stats chaser. You know, but I mean, but you know, you know, he got jealous of Kevin Durant when he won that, um, he got jealous of Kevin Durant when he won that MVP. Let's just keep it real. He did, you know, he got jealous and, um, you know, the next year he really tried to go out there and get MVP and, um, with him, it's just. To me, I, I mean, people say he a great teammate, you know, great person off the court. And I can't even make that a personal diamond. Never made him. Never met him. But as far as a teammate, somebody I want him to play with. Somebody that's trying to stat chase him, stat pad. And somebody that said he, you know, won the championship ain't on his bucket list or ain't something he really want to do. And he said that, um, you know, he already won in life just by making it here. And that's cool. Like I said, every player in the NBA don't want to be great. Every player in the NBA objective ain't to win the title. You know, every NBA player ain't going to put in the work. But if you ain't playing to win, you play to win the game. My Dennis, uh, what's it? I forget his job name, name, but uh, coach for the uh, Dennis Green. You play to win the game. If you ain't playing to win, I don't want you on my team. Straight up and down, just like that. I don't want you on my team. But I mean, could you say Kyrie a better player than Russell Westbrook? I mean, better. You can make the case. Westbrook won MVP, but I think it's one of the worst MVPs ever. Okay. Um, is James Harden better than Russell Westbrook to this point? Yeah. He won MVP. Uh, Slate Thompson better than Westbrook. I mean, we can have that discussion. I think I think he's a better overall player. I ain't talking about stats. Slate, Slate, uh, Slate Thompson do things 
that show up in the stat sheet, that don't show up in the stat sheet, you know, he guard the best player. You know what I'm saying? He allows he allows Steph to take a break on defense. He wants players that allow Steph to be Steph. He do. He he don't need the ball in his hand to score. You know, and that'd be interesting to see if Clay goes somewhere like Charlotte Horn Hornets, would he have an impact? You know, I don't think he will. I think he can he can facilitate and just ain't got a chance to show. I think as a player, I would rather have Clay Thompson. And Steph Curry, you know, debate. Steph Curry better than Russell Westbrook, you know. Better teammate too. And I think, you know, Serge Ibaka is the elephant in the room. You know, Serge Ibaka is the elephant in the room. And he said, Did I forget somebody? And he, he said it like, you know, he he said it like uh he said it like he was dead ass serious. Maybe he did forget Russell Westbrook, but I think he did because Wallace pointed out he said he's the boy out there in LA. Talking about, you know, Russell Westbrook, Russell, Russell Wilson. I mean, Westbrook, excuse me. You know, um You know, he just, he said, did I forget somebody? Yeah, I think you forgot Westbrook. Is it Ibaka better than, than Westbrook? I mean, no. I ain't heard nothing about Serge Ibaka this year. You know, and he, he played with us, uh, Stephen Adams too, but, you know, Stephen Adams, Stephen Adams was a pup. You know, Draymond Green, you know, Draymond, when he wasn't cussing him out, he was allowing him to, um, and obviously as men, him and Draymond just did a podcast for KD podcast. Him and Draymond, like men do, we we can fight verbally, we can fight physically, and we're able to get over it. Women fight, you know, they're mortal enemies for life. So the people who don't understand it, you know, they're able to cuss each other out and get past it. And Draymond better be lucky. That was Kevin Durant he was talking to, not Jerry Stackhouse. Jerry Stackhouse got a, a reputation for beating ass. He beat uh, the Utah Jazz coach ass. What's his name? Um, Quinn Snyder. <laughs> Go listen to that story he did on. Uh, I forget the interview. Was it uh my man's with he be having his daddy come on and rap uh Dan Labatar show, and um he basically said Quinn Snyder came and said I needed that, <laughs> you know he said he thanked him for whooping his ass because he was having a hard time playing for Jerry Salon, Jerry uh Jesus man Jerry Salone I think was the coach out there for Utah resting power to him but um I mean would you put Serge Ibaka over Draymond? Like I don't know the criteria. We just talking about best as far as talent, best as far as camaraderie and fit. I mean, it is what it is. I don't know what he mean, but if he's talking about just talented, best as far as talent, Serge Ibaka ain't better than um, ain't better than Draymond. And he damn sure ain't better than uh, he damn sure ain't better than um, Russell Wood, Russell uh, Westbrook. And that's just my opinion, man. But see, I ain't heard nothing for Russell, Serge Ibaka this year. I ain't heard nothing from him. But I mean, it is what it is. I know Draymond got something. I didn't know he was seven foot even, man. He don't play like a seven foot. He thought he played like he's six nine or something. But um, but yeah, I, I don't think he better than Draymond and um Westbrook. But hey, let me know what you guys think um about him saying it. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Love to hear your comments in the comment section. Uh, don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my links there. Facebook group link there in the description as well too. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, or you just want to sponsor your uh, business on the channel, hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's your description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Peace.